Hi, I'm Peter Nybor from Sensil, and I'm here to show you some of the highlights of the Sensil Morph. This device offers a world of creative possibility, and what enables that possibility are these swappable overlays. All you have to do is put one overlay on the device, and it instantly transforms it to change what the device does. So in this case, it's a MIDI production studio, complete with dial controls, drum pads, and some synthesizer keys. Now it's a MIDI keyboard, the traditional layout, as well as some additional buttons at top to help you control your session. We also have a QWERTY keyboard, and now you can use it for typing, mails, blog posts, mean internet comments, and you can even use the inventor's overlay to make your own custom interface. Now what makes all of this possible is on the back of each device we have eight magnets, and these magnets not only identify what overlay is being put on the device, but also holds it securely in place while you're using it. The device itself is an array of over 20,000 pressure sensors. These can detect up to 30,000 levels of pressure from a very light touch to a very hard hit. So this can be used for something as delicate as typing or something as rough and tumble as cranking out some fat beats. You can use the Morph with the USB connection, or you can use it wirelessly with Bluetooth. All you have to do is unplug this, hold down the power button for a second or so, the lights flash, and then this LED will turn blue. And now you're ready to pair via Bluetooth to Mac OS, Linux, Windows, Android, iOS. All of those platforms will support this. It runs on battery for up to four to five hours. Because this is made for creative people, we've also included the Sensor app. The Sensil app is your hub for configuring and updating the Sensil Morph, as well as configuring each individual overlay. So for example, you may want these top buttons to do something a little bit different than what they're pre-programmed to. Now this is a QWERTY overlay for typing. You could, if you wanted to, redefine it so each key press was a MIDI note. Similarly, this is designed to be a MIDI controller, but you can redefine all of these so that they send keystrokes, for example, if you want to control saving and undo instead of sending out MIDI notes. We also have some other overlays for video editing, art. That's just sort of an overview of the device. We're going to dive in deeper for each overlay and some other videos, so stay tuned and start learning about the Sensomorph.